Hi, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap, and in this tutorial, you'll learn how to use our unmounted rubber stamp sheets. Um, you'll notice it starts out right with a uh, index sheet of the images that are actually on the stamps themselves, and then you have the full sheet of vulcanized rubber. So you look at this, it doesn't have any wood, it doesn't have any cushion, it's just a sheet of that quality vulcanized rubber, and within a few easy steps, you can uh, be using your stamps. I usually use a nice sharp scissors, um, as long as you can kind of get into some of the details. I prefer a longer bladed scissors just so I can make quicker work of it. And you'll notice that I'm going around and trimming the individual images from the sheet. Now every image that's raised has what's called a shoulder, so you want to make sure that you don't damage the image by trimming too close. Um, but you also want to make sure that there isn't an excessive amount of rubber uh, remaining um, that could cause errors to occur when you're stamping the images. So when you get a sheet of rubber stamps like this, just go ahead and trim around the artwork and, and uh, until they're all in individual pieces. Now that all of the trimming has been done, I usually just take one look at the pile of scraps that goes in the garbage and then you have your pile of images. Maybe even compare that you have the correct number of images to correspond with what's on the index sheet because I have been known to retrieve disposed of images from the trash can. So just make sure you have all of your images. Now we have a product at Club Scrap called Mount It and this is an adhesive that's specially formulated for the temporary attachment of a stamp to some sort of a mounting block and also to your storage system, whatever that may be. Uh, to get started though, for the very first time when you're using uh, the Mount It product, I recommend that you take some sort of an empty surface, you know, firm surface such as a Club Scrap pizza box and add some Mount It to the bottom of the tray. So you can, this will be your official stamp mounting box that you can use again and again. Now it seems like I'm pouring a lot in there and maybe I am, but this I'm, I'll use this box for a long, long time. And just take a brush of any kind, or you can even use your fingertip if you don't mind. It's just that it's a very odd adhesive. And just spread this adhesive into the bottom of the box. It seems kind of weird, but um, what this will do is give you a surface on which you can mount all of your future stamps um, with much less of a mess. And... Um, gives you a good surface to store them away while the uh, adhesive is drying. Now that some time has passed and the bottom of my box is completely clear but it's going to be shiny as well, I have a prepared surface that I can use every time I mount my stamps. So here's the trimmed image and I'm just going to place that face down into the base of the box. And by having the mounted surface prepared below it, it means that when I go in with a brush to apply the mounted adhesive to the back of the stamp, the stamp doesn't move around and get uh, mounted adhesive on the image side, which we want to avoid. So this is the largest image. I'm going to make a puddle of mounted. And again, no matter what applicator you're using, I'm just using an inexpensive foam brush. Um, and you can uh, use your fingertip if you don't mind the odd sensation of having mounted stuck to your fingers for a little while. <laughs> um, that's okay too, or some other type of a specialty glue brush. I find that it's just difficult to rinse the adhesive off, so I like to use something that's more disposable. Of course, it, you can apply additional mounted to the back of your stamps at any time. They're always, it's always fine to apply more if it does come off. Maybe you're using a heavy duty stamp cleaner um, and some of the adhesive comes off, no problem. Just, just add another coat using the same technique. Now that I'm finished with the application of the mounted to the back of the stamps, I'm just gonna wait until all of the adhesive turns clear, just like it did on the base of the box. Well, now that the adhesive is clear, the stamps are ready to come out of the box and onto your preferred storage device. One option would be to use a um, DVD case that doesn't have the little ring in the middle. And um, that's what we have available here. And that's how I store my most recent unmounted stamps. It's just a great way to keep them organized by kit. And of course, if you are a member of Club Scrap, you can subscribe to receive automatically the coordinating sheet of unmounted stamps that we have available each month. And you can see that these are peeling off from that backing that we created earlier. And then the adhesive all stays behind. And during the uh, glue painting process, 
um, that works really, really well to hold those stamps in place. I guess I should have started by placing my largest image <laughs> onto the case. And of course, every month we produce index sheets that help us reference what's inside the DVD case. And then the uh, spine of the DVD case is labeled as well, so you can organize them easily. Here's an example from last month. I'm, this is so new. I just received these stamps and I was mounting them and thought I would film the video. So uh, last month's High Tide stamps are on the sheet. So here they are inside. And when I get the index sheet off of our website, I print two copies. There are instructions on how to trim this to the exact correct size to fit into the DVD case. And then the spine tells you the month, the year, the name of the kit, and that it's stamps. So you just slide them in. I face them uh, back to back and once this is slid into the case I can see the images on both sides and line things up so I always know everything is in its place. Then when you want to use the stamp you just can use any type of acrylic mounting block and uh, mine's seen a lot of love here. So you can peel the image off of the sheet, place it onto the stamp, ink it, and stamp it. What's important to remember though is that there's no cushion between the stamp itself and the acrylic block. A great solution for creating cushion on your stamps would be to use one of our um, graph paper plotters and it's just a, a big stack of paper that creates cushion naturally and um, I also like that it has a grid so if I'm stamping something that has text on it I can align it with the grid on my block ink it and then stamp it on the grid on my paper to make sure that these lines line up and that my, when I go to my image on my card, it's going to stamp nice and level as I, as I want it to be. Also, you, might, you can do some fine tuning on the sheets once they've been mounted with the adhesive. So you can like clip off the end here a little bit to prevent, you know, clean the images up a little bit. So when I'm initially mounting my stamps, I do what I would call a rough cut. And then when I'm stamping the image, if I wanted to add more trimming detail to this to prevent any stray marks when stamping, I absolutely would do that. Once you're finished uh, using the image, you can wipe it clean with a um, either just water and a, and a rag or some sort of a special stamp cleaner. Once it's clean, you can peel it off, store it away, and then everything stays organized. Another idea would be to store your stamps on page protectors that have been filled with cover weight paper, which is a club scrap standard, and that way the images can be held on a bookshelf, in a binder. This also works really well, and it is how I store many, many of my stamps. And um, I will probably start converting ones I lose, use less often out of the DVT cases and into my page protectors. It's all about staying organized and being able to find what you're looking for. Keep in mind that as a Club Scrap member, you can subscribe to auto ship the stamps each month with your collection that coordinate with the kit that you receive. It's a great way to be able to add additional images and create more artwork with your Club Scrap collections. Happy stamping!